Okay guys, today we're talking about a bit of a difficult subject for many parents and that is homework. Homework is a big pain point for parents. Um, let me tell you a little bit of my story. I had a daughter who was really struggling with her homework. Um, she wasn't self-motivated. There was lots of tears, lots of crying. She really wanted me to sit down by her, basically do her homework for her. Um, and I talked to my mom. I called my mom on the phone and I was like, what should I do? What am I doing? I, can you give me some advice? Can you give me some direction? And she said that basically my child has learned helplessness. That was a huge wake up call for me. Let's talk about brain development here. The brain is developed the way that it is used. That means in order for a brain to get really good at making decisions and understanding the consequences, positive and negative, for that decision, they have to be able to make lots and lots of decisions. And the more decisions that they make on their own and the more opportunities they have to um, have a choice, um, they are more resilient and they're able to handle stress much better. However, what happens um, often and what was happening in my case is that the parent was working harder than the child to solve the child's problems, which makes the child weaker and unable to direct their own lives. Um, my favorite book on this topic is a book called The Self-Driven Child. I'll read you the subtitle here, The Science and Sense of Giving Your Kids More Control Over Their Lives. I love how they talk about brain development here, and it reminds me of a lyric from the musical Hairspray um, that says, you always taught me right from wrong, now let me give it a try. Basically, it, what, they, what they say in the book is to take on a consultant mode which means that you are there to help a child make an informed decision, but you are not there to make those decisions for them. That you're there to help and support and to give limits, but you are not there to make their decisions. In fact, it is so much better for their brain growth for them to make as many decisions as possible on their own. I just have to read you a bit here about homework specifically because it is so good. He says, if you act as if it is your job to see that your child does his homework, practices the piano, or plays a sport, you reinforce the mis mistaken belief that somebody other than he is responsible for getting his work done. He doesn't have to think about it because on some level he knows that eventually someone will make him do it. And this perhaps is the most critical point. You can't force a kid to do something he is dead set against. You've probably heard of the serenity prayer, the one that goes like this. God grant me the serenity to keep to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. It is a good thing to keep in mind as a parent. So if you start doing this route and you start to step back and you say, yeah, I'm the consultant now and I'm no longer going to be doing your homework with you or for you. Um, and they choose to not do their homework and you say, ah, didn't work. Rest assured that it is working perfectly well and that um, they're learning from those mistakes. They're learning from those decisions that they're making. Uh, as much as we all hate homework, it is a part of life, and I have to find that balance between I'm okay with healthy stress and a healthy struggle because it builds resiliency to also allowing my children to have their childhood so if you are at a school where there is hours of homework and they're in first grade, communicate with the teacher. Especially if you have a child who is, has a, a disability. Make sure you're communicating with the teacher and kind of do it in a matter of fact way. My child will do 20 minutes of homework and that's all we're gonna be able to do. But don't be a lawnmower parent. Don't mow over all of their struggle. It is okay, and in fact, you're doing them zero favors by mowing over their struggle.